In unveiling divine revelation, as articulated in the opening verses of the book of Revelation, Revelation 1, 1, 2, we are granted a glimpse into the spirit of prophecy. Delving into the profundity of this subject underscores its significance as exemplified in Revelation 12, 17, where a remnant is mentioned. Webster's 1828 Dictionary defines remnant as the residue or what remains after separation, removal, or destruction. Thus it becomes evident that a remnant does not encompass the entirety. This distinction is relevant because only a remnant possesses the testimony of Jesus, identified as the spirit of prophecy, Revelation 19.10. Therefore, our pursuit of understanding this testimony becomes paramount. A pivotal observation emerges. This testimony belongs to Jesus himself. The revelation of Jesus Christ, bestowed upon him by God, unveils forthcoming events to his servants. This revelation was transmitted through his angel to his servant John, who testified to the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ, detailing all that he perceived, Revelation 1, 1, 2. What better source to glean insight into this testimony than from the one to whom it belongs? Comparing Revelation 12, 17 with Revelation 19, 10, we ascertain that the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. But what constitutes the spirit of prophecy? Scripture provides clarity. In Revelation 19.10, as John attempted to worship the angel who disclosed these revelations to him, he was rebuked with the angel declaring himself as a fellow servant of John and his brethren who share the testimony of Jesus. Likewise, in Revelation 22.8.9, as John was again compelled to worship the angel, the same correction was issued emphasizing the angel's identity as a fellow servant of John and his brethren, the prophets. These parallels underscore the interconnectedness of these passages and elucidate the essence of the spirit of prophecy as embodied in Jesus' testimony. Thus we are urged to revere God alone, recognizing the sacredness of his testimony which permeates the spirit of prophecy. While this is not the end of the parallels in these passages, it is enough to illustrate the point. According to this, who are the brethren that have the testimony of Jesus? And what is the testimony of Jesus? Ah, there we have it. Those with the spirit of prophecy are called prophets. Praise the Lord for the word of truth. This particular title, Spirit of Prophecy, is fitting since it describes what the Spirit does through the prophets, that is, prophesy. Holy men of God spake as the Holy Ghost moved them. 2. Peter 1.21